hello everybody i welcome you all to today's video in today's video we are going to see the phd in genetics that is top 10 global institutes i'm dr vaishali academic specialist at biotechnica biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career now come let's explore the topic now, before even we start the top 10 institutes, right, let me give you a little bit of statistics. The statistics is the number of leading genetic uh, scientists per country. So that's what we are going to see. So this is a 2022 data, right? So um, in the uh, columns, uh, we have the, the, the list of the countries right here in the uh, x-axis we have the number of scientists so in us you can see they have the maximum number of scientists who are working in the genetics area that is around 546 of the scientists next next in uk you have 115 scientists followed by germany japan canada netherlands australia france switzerland and sweden let's now start with the institutes the first institute that we are going to talk about is the harvard institute harvard institute is located at cambridge usa so it works with different uh, you know hospitals that is uh, massachusetts general hospital the dana faber cancer institute the boston children's hospital as well as brigham and women's hospital so it has the collaboration with all of these hospitals so if at all you're going to work in genetics you might require patient sample so and also uh, all of these uh, hospitals have their own research wing with whom you can collaborate and use their facility as well to go on and continue with your research now, there are a total of 36 faculty members or 36 labs especially in genetics in harvard university so according to your interest you can choose which among the labs that you want to work with now there are uh, two different uh, departments when it comes to genetics the first is the biological and biomedical sciences the second is the bioinformatics and integrative genomics in biological and biomedical sciences which is also called the bbms so in this particular department you have um, different uh, you know research themes such as contemporary genetics biochemistry molecular cellular and mechanistic biology so if you want to pursue your research in genetics in any of these areas then yes you can apply for phd in bbms or if you want to go ahead and work with the genomics then yes the bioinformatics and integrative genomics which is nothing but big so you can apply in this particular department the second one, institute that we're going to talk about is nothing but mit mit is uh, situated in Cambridge, US, and they work on multiple uh, research themes. So a few of these re research themes are gene editing. So this is in particular with genetics alone. So they have uh, multiple other labs for other uh, bioscience topics, but especially for genetics, the the you know the research themes that they work on are gene editing, DNA repair and replication epigenetics genetic variability horizontal gene transfer aging as well as cancer so these are the different research themes or research areas that mit works on the next university that we're going to talk about is the stanford university which is located in california us so this is made this is based out of the stanford school of medicine it comes under this particular division so what are the different research areas that they work on? First is the analysis and identification of human disease genes, molecular evolution, gene therapy, statistical genetics, as well as application of model organisms to problems in biology and medicine. Lastly, computational and experimental approach to genome biology. So these are the different genetic research that happens at M at Stanford University. The next university that we're going to talk about is from Europe, that is Max Planck Institute, which is located in Berlin, Germany. Now, what are the departments in genetics in this particular 
in this particular institute so the different departments are developmental genetics genome regulation and computational molecular biology the project works or the research works that are being undertaken in these departments are genome regulation stem cell culture human brain and neural stem cell neurogenetics computational genomics as well as transcriptional regulation so these are the different research areas that happens in max planck institute max planck institute uh, is located in germany next is the university of cambridge which is located in cambridge england right so here there are 25 research groups or 25 labs that are working on genetics alone and of in this particular institute institute for applying for phd you have to uh, first get in contact with potential supervisors and you they should be ready to accept you as a phd a student and then you go ahead and apply formally from their website so that is what their procedure is so what are the research areas that uh, happens in university of cambridge especially in the area of genetics so the first is the functional genomics and systems biology developmental genetics epigenetic inheritance evolution and population genetics microbial genetics as well as cell biology so these are the different topics on which uh, genetic topics on which research is carried out at university of cambridge the next university we are going to talk about is the university of california san francisco which is again located in us the different departments that um, carries out work in genetics are biomedical sciences biochemistry and molecular biology cell biology developmental biology and genetics the biology biological and medical informatics pharmaceutical sciences and pharmacogenomics epidemiology and translational sciences so these are the different departments which carry out research in genetics and particularly what are the research areas or research themes in genetics first is the microarrays second comparative genome hybridization whole genome sequencing population genetics genetic epidemiology and computational genomics so these are the different genetic areas or research areas that happen in university of california san francisco next is the welcome sanger institute which is located in england so this is an institute that is heavy on genomics research alone so in this particular institute there are two types of phd that is available one is the general four years phd and the second is the clinical phd now clinical phd as the name suggests it is applicable for all the professionals who are in the medical department right so for these professionals health professionals this particular clinical phd is available now there are around 30 faculty members or 30 different labs that does the research work in genetics and it is associated with university of cambridge at uk now what are the research themes that happens in this particular welcome sanger institute first is the cancer aging and somatic mutation second is cellular genetics human genetics parasites and microbes and the trees of life so these are the different themes under which research is carried out at welcome sanger institute now the eighth institute or university that we're going to talk about is university of washington which is again located in us so here the department that carries out the research in genetics is called UW Genome Sciences. So here there are around 60 trained faculty members who under whom the labs are being established to do research in genetics. So in this particular institute, if you are joining as a PhD student, you will be fully funded, including a tuition waiver, the health insurers and a stipend for living expenses will also be provided from University of Washington. Now, what are the different research themes that is being carried out in UW? UW Genome Sciences. So the first is the model organism genetics, human and medical genetics genomics and proteomics, 
as well as computational biology. So these are the different research areas that happens in University of Washington, especially in genetics. There is also a second type of PhD that is available in the public health genetics. So apart from what is available in the UV genome sciences, UW genome sciences, there is also PhD that's available in the public health genetics. So if you are somebody who's interested in public health, then yes, this PhD is for you. Now, the ninth institute we are going to talk about is in is University of Pennsylvania, which is located in the US. So here there is a department called Cell and Molecular Biology in which they carry out the genetics and epigenetic research, right? So here there are four, not seven scientists who work under, who work with genetics directly or indirectly. Now, what are the research themes that, uh, you know, University of Pennsylvania takes forward, especially in the area of genetics? First is the model organism genetics, which is used for studying the human uh, diseases. Second, the human genetics. Third is the transcriptional and post-transcriptional gene regulation, epigenetics, genomics, as well as bioinformatics. Also in detail, the genomics and computational biology department also does this particular bioinformatics and computational work. So you can pursue your PhD in the genomics and computational biology department as well. The last university that we are going to talk about is Yale University, which is again located at US. So here they take forward the uh, you know, research in molecular, cellular, organismal, and population genetics, right? So the general, so basically, if you are a graduate from a general genetics background, then this particular PhD uh, degree is going to help you to go more deeper and more specifically uh, into a you know, genetic area. So that is what this particular program is going to help you. Here as well, you have to first select your faculty or your potential supervisor under whom you're going to do the research work. And once they are aligned to take you as their PhD student, and then you go ahead and you apply formally in the, the university website. Right. So what are the research areas that happens in Yale, especially in the genetics area? First is the genetic and epigenetic regulation, the molecular genetics, genomics and cell biology of stem cells. Next is microRNA, genetic and genomic analysis, prenatal uh, genetics, cytogenetics, DNA diagnostics and biochemical diagnostics. So these last four research area is being done with collaboration with other hospitals because these are mo mostly clinical in nature. So it is more related to um, hospital than a lab. So yes, uh, these are the different research areas that happens in Yale University. So with this, we come to the end of this particular discussion. I'm sure it was super helpful for all of you out there who are looking at joining PhD abroad, especially in the area of genetics. If you have any more doubts, do let us know down in the comment section. Thank you so much and see you all until next video.